All right, let's pick things up again and start discussing the latest that we know on the newest fire to have just started in the Bay Area overnight. Right now, the latest reports on this has it at 20 acres, but the reason why we keep showing this unusual looking map is because it tells us something about how fast this fire has already started to take off. Go ahead and take that full screen, and I'm going to point out the black spot that shows up on here just south of where you see the words on there that say glass fire. So the satellite's able to read a heat signature. And if this fire is already putting out enough of a heat signature that the satellite's able to read it from space, and you can see it right there, that tells us this is already a sizable enough fire to have a heightened level of concern on it. I'll put a couple of other locators on here because that is burning up in Napa. And you'll see some of the locations, Calistoga, uh, the community of St. Helena. In fact, we do have some pictures of flames from this we can share with you just to show you what some of the initial images of this fire has looked like. If we've got those pictures, we'll show them now. If not, I'll move on and I'll go into the forecast on this. Let me show you what the winds are going to be doing up here. You can see the locator for the fire here. There's Calistoga, there's St. Helena. There's Mount St. Helena where some of the strongest winds are coming over the ridge tops. Now I'm going to put in the wind speeds and the wind direction. Here's the concern on this. As we go through the next few hours, the winds will pick up in intensity. And the direction then also becomes very important. See the streamlines coming out of the northeast and moving down to the southwest. In other words, taking those flames from as best as we can ascertain at this point in the hills on this northeast side of Napa. But it's very early on this and reports are very spotty. We're really just going off initial reports and where the satellite's telling us it is. But should that all be true, we're going to see those flames move down to the southwest, which is why we're going to have to watch that very closely over the course of the next several hours and probably throughout the remainder of today. Winds will get better as we get past the afternoon today. But for the next few hours, it's going to be windy there. It's going to be windy everywhere else. Red flag warning stays in effect until 9 o'clock on Monday. Here's part of the issue with that. If we take the relative humidities from where they are now, where we've got them at a reasonable healthy level and advance this into the afternoon, things are only going to get drier from here. Relative humidities plummet down into the single digits through the North Bay and through the parts of the East Bay Hills. That's part of this red flag warning along with the winds. Spotlighting the brighter color showing us where the stronger offshore winds are. That's this morning. We, we already looked at a close-up view for where that glass fire is. Here's the big picture idea on how the winds will lighten a bit as we get into the late afternoon, only to pick up again as we get into Monday morning, which is why that red flag warning stays in effect until Monday night. And then once we get past Monday night, we'll get into a break. Temperatures are the other story here. Look at the daytime highs. Low hundreds inland, that will be 10 degrees above where we were yesterday. We're going to go to 90 in the city today. We'll hit 93 in San Jose, 93 in Mountain View, and temperatures will be well into the upper 90s in the North Bay. And as far as the heat's concerned, we should hunker down with this because it's going to be around for a while. Seven day forecast shows us temperatures staying hot like this all the way into about Wednesday of this coming week, Deb, and it's really not to the end of the week that we get numbers out of the mid-90s and back to the 80s for inland spots.